Good morning guys. I am going to vlog today. Today's my first day of the second semester of my junior year. This is like my first day of classes today. My first class starts at 1 p.m. I know. I'm like actually shocked every Monday and Wednesday, which is so exciting. I'm not gonna put myself through any anxiety today, so I probably won't be vlogging at all at school because I'm already kind of sleep deprived. I gave myself four hours of sleep last night because I really gotta fix my sleeping schedule and I went to bed at literally, I think it was like four when I was trying to go to bed earlier and I just couldn't because I woke up at like 2 p.m. yesterday. So it kind of just screwed up my schedule. So I'm giving myself four hours of sleep today so I can fix it so that I'll be tired by the end of the day and go to sleep. <laughs> So it's almost nine, it's 8.50 about. I am doing an online job through one of my friends from London that I met and she works with this company as well. She recommended me. So I got the job just for seasonal. I literally work whenever I want. I just have to work four hours, Monday through Friday. Okay, I'm changing angles so you guys don't get bored of me talking. I've been very lonely lately and I have a lot of time on my hands now. I'm gonna start just kind of picking up a camera when I'm feeling that so I can be a little productive. I also have therapy for the first time today and I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Finally, I need it. <laughs> Everybody needs it, but I definitely need it. Okay, I'm gonna go get some breakfast because I am so hungry. While I do this, I'm going to tell you guys what's been on my mind. I literally don't have anybody to hang out with. Like, I do, but, like, I don't. And right now, I'm just kind of trying to focus on myself. And I think God really said, you know what? We're going to give you this time to be completely alone and lonely. I think this is your time to, to use it and really reflect. And that's what I'm doing. It's so much to where it's like, am I the problem? Maybe. I don't know. But we're using this time to reflect on it. Also, I am trying to just not put these negative thoughts in my head because they're so irritating and they stop me from doing things. I probably wouldn't even post this video if I let my negative thoughts take over because I would think that this is so uninteresting and like I'm complaining, but I just am like talking. Okay, we're gonna try it with the honey. I don't think I've been enough, but... Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I showed my TikTok how I made my coffee and I'm gonna show you guys because I got on this like kick of always going to Starbucks and my dad was like, you gotta stop. You gotta stop because I, I probably spent $300 on Starbucks last year. Not even being dramatic. I'm being so dramatic. I definitely didn't spend $300 on coffee last year. Maybe $200. But it could have definitely been $200 because I remember having a Starbucks gift card for $50 and I used that in like three weeks. So I came up with a coffee recipe. It's nothing special, literally. Like it's literally the most simplest thing. I got myself this jar, which look, it is huge. I know, I know, I know. For some reason, it just tastes better. The coffee will not taste as good. If it's not in this jar, I couldn't tell you. It's a little bit of a process. So I'm gonna start it now so I can have my coffee and drink it before I go to class. Because this, let's just say I don't use dairy-free milk. Okay, I'm gonna let this brew. That sound is everything. I'm gonna put it in the freezer. Timer on for 30 minutes. Doki doki, it's ready. <laughs> now I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the coffee, I'm so excited. Okay, so after you pull out the coffee from the freezer, after 30 minutes, I'm gonna put ice, probably one third of the cup. This is very important. The more ice, the better the vibe is. So I feel like that's about a third. Then you're gonna get your creamer, shake it up. I don't know what to do that much. I then add milk and I add this stuff first so that the coffee can just kind of mix. That's a little more than halfway. And then the best part, you add the coffee in and this is like the most satisfying thing ever. Oh. I'm gonna use my water straw because I love this straw. Okay, I did my makeup, look how cute. I'm trying new makeup looks because I don't know how to do makeup for the life of me. Let me close my bathroom door. I honestly, I hate the shower curtain that I bought and I'm, I'm so tempted to buy a new one because it is actually awful and I hate it. And this year, I'm going to learn some new makeup looks. I also need to learn how to do things with my hair and maybe like get a new haircut because babe, this is just kind of bleh. But anyway, I put some blush on. I just got this new Rare Beauty concealer and mascara and I love it 
the mascara. Look at my eyelashes. Like, look at that side profile. Could we just... Wow, my eyebrows, guys, they need some cleaning. Can... Oh! Okay. I didn't need that today. Okay, anyway. So then, yeah, and then I put some sparkles on my eyelids. It's like almost 11 now, and I feel like I'm running out of time. I literally woke up so early, and I feel like I'm, I did nothing today, even though I, I did. Also, I was editing. <laughs> I was editing one of my TikTok videos I want to post today. I started this video series, maybe last week sometime it's where i speak spanish because i am horrible at spanish but i'm literally latina and it's so embarrassing so i am kind of doing that to help me and also people really liked it and i was like oh my gosh that's so exciting and people wanted me to do another one so i did another one and i'm telling a story about when i was in middle school we had to do projects a lot in this school and for one of the classes i forgot what the project was about but she had to like stay up in front of the whole class and present it to everybody and we were all sitting in chairs like next to each other and one of my friends at the time she she was sitting next to me and I had a fart so bad and I couldn't hold it in apparently and I farted so loud that the whole class stopped in their tracks okay and they looked at me <laughs> I just stare I like knew obviously everybody was like this I knew everybody was looking at me and everybody knew it was me. I just pretend like I didn't see them. Like, this is so embarrassing. I was such an embarrassment when I was younger, but I just pretend like I didn't see them and I was just looking at the girl like this. Like, so embarrassing. But then I found out that my friend at the time, I told her about the situation. She was like, oh my God, do you think everybody heard that? And she was like, what? And I'm like, the fart. And she was like, oh, you farted? I, I honestly thought it was the chair, that you moved the chair. And I'm like, I promise nobody thought that. She tried to make me feel better. And she was like, no, look, I think people just thought it was the chair. I'm like, no, why would people stop? Every single person stop. Stop, because it's so embarrassing. <gasps> I remember, the fact that I remember this vividly, I don't really remember much when I was younger, but like middle school and elementary at that school, oh my God, I can remember so many things. Anyway, I'm gonna go fix my bed now because... I put you on my top shelf because I don't know where else to put you. I, please ignore this. I'm just gonna lock myself in here, okay? So I need to know what I'm gonna wear today. So I went ahead and like started putting outfits together and I hung them on hangers. Like for example, I like have this and I already have it hung and like this is an outfit, this is an outfit. You know what I'm saying? So I have a bunch of these um, little outfits. So I need to wear something today that gives, ooh, new year, new me, back to school. I'm gonna slay this year. I always wanna be comfortable and I'm tired of like making excuses as to why i don't dress cute you know because i'm like oh, i'm so tired but, like you're gonna always be tired so just wear something cute okay so this is not the cutest outfit actually i don't really know how cold it is it's a little bit chilly it's a little bit chilly okay so this is the fit. I think I'm gonna do slacks because it makes me feel a little more put together. The jacket is the star of the show. I really don't know. Loving the jacket, but this top is what's giving me, the top is giving nothing, you know? Like it's really giving nothing. Okay, how do I feel about this? Ugh, I have no idea guys. Okay, so I don't know. Like I know it's stripes. It's like pattern on pattern, but I think the thing that's bothering me is the pants. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. I found these black pants. Oh, cute. Yay! Okay, this is the outfit. Love. Okay, I am gonna head to school now. It is 12.38. Oh god, this is hard. First day of school, second semester of junior year. I'm not gonna film there. I'm not because Today, I'm not choosing anxiety. Okay, oh gosh, guys. Um, <laughs> so two things happened to me that were so embarrassing just now. Obviously, it's not embarrassing if you're not embarrassed, but I just have so much anxiety right now. I don't know why. I'm still living life and I'm slaying, it's okay. I am laughing it off. <laughs> But I was talking to this girl in the Kate Center. They're friendly face, like I, I talk to them sometimes. <laughs> we, we had a conversation maybe for like a good minute or two. We just held a conversation talking about some classes and stuff. While I was leaving, I, I don't know, like I just, you know, we talked. So it would be weird if I kind of just left and didn't say anything. So I said, have a nice day. <laughs> 
and like she didn't hear me I don't think <laughs> I don't know I don't know it was just so awkward because there was this person that I knew from social media and I knew that they heard it it wasn't like embarrassing but I tried to laugh it off because my anxiety like made me like have little butterflies in my in my chest and like oh it was so awkward to me it's the other interaction that I it wasn't even an interaction but like literally just now I knocked on the door of one of my favorite professors his door was closed and I should have known that if their doors you know what I'm saying I just wasn't thinking and I knocked on the door but he was on his computer and he was definitely like in a meeting talking to somebody he didn't look up I, he probably knew who was he was but I was kind of like I went knock knock I looked and I said ooh <laughs> like I literally said ooh <laughs> and I left and now I'm here um I have my next class which is intro to mass communications at 3 30 and it's like 301 so I came in here so that I can just kind of let you guys know what's happening and so I can <laughs> <sighs> breathe and be alone because I am just so socially anxious today for some reason. Right, so my public speaking class actually is gonna be kind of slay. I'm gonna love it. Um, it was a little nerve wracking, but we don't have any tests or quizzes in that class, and it's with Dr. Shields. And apparently, she's very loved by everybody, and her energy was really amazing, and I loved it. So I'm excited. Again, no tests or quizzes, and we have like four big main like speeches, like projects. It was so packed. That is the biggest class I've ever had at Meredith ever in person literally like there was no personal space like it was probably from here to like this is how close but i've just never had a class like that here yet yeah yeah it was it was nice i liked it i'm gonna update you guys after my intro to personal no intro to mass communications class which um i'm excited about i hope i like it because i'm thinking of double majoring in mass com and pr right now i'm in pr but that's just because it's like the closest to any videography i'm gonna get at this school but i also i was editing you saw that already but i was editing youtube video this one right now i'm editing it and i i don't know i don't know why i ever stopped it i don't know i think me not having friends right now it's just i'm gonna use that to my advantage like I okay I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say I don't have friends but but yeah I have literally no close friend right now and I'm excited but also I'm gonna use that as an advantage right now because I'm kind of lonely um so yeah I'm gonna meditate really quick 10 minute meditation for anxiety look at that per and welcome to this meditation to help you reduce anxiety I'm back from intro to mass communications class and it turns out my favorite teacher is teaching it So that's great. I also am so anxious today guys. I oh gosh I I've never felt this like whew. It was actually really awful in class today. It was so in my head. It was so stupid Um, like I hated it. I hated it. I was so like quiet and not myself and it was just so oh, I hate Ugh. Anyway, um <laughs> yeah also <laughs> i just like told my teacher my trauma he asked me at first how my break was and i said it was different and he was like why and then we went into class and then i asked him if he had like looked seen my email to sign this form that i needed from him and then he was like like how are you and i'm like "Ooh." <laughs> and then he was like oh <laughs> he was like sorry i like just kind of forced that out of you and i was like it's okay we're dealing with it <laughs> i have therapy <laughs> at 6 15 and you know what i really shouldn't be spending money but i think i i hate that i do this i do this all the time i need to stop but i'm craving a salad and i think that i deserve after kind of the good but like awful day that i've had today i deserve to go to chick-fil-a and get myself a chick-fil-a salad with fries because i deserve it i'll be back once i have my salad hi lt <gasps> If you would have seen that car, it was so cute in her show. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. Well, that was dramatic. Hello? How was this standing before? I just realized that my camera is going to be my new best friend. So, let me give you a hug. Oh my god. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to eat my feelings now. Mm-mm-mm. Guys, I'm not messing around here. I'm getting myself ready for this therapy session. So I literally sprayed this eucalyptus sleep mist on my pillows because I'm gonna sit right here with my blanket. I have my notebook for notes. Obviously this light's gonna be off and I have my lamp on. 
and then I put on my diffuser. I'm ready. Okay, update guys. So I'm gonna put my phone up in its flashlight so that you guys can see me. I just finished my session with my therapist and it went well. It was kind of weird. Like what are you supposed to do once you've like literally just thrown all your trauma onto this random stranger? She like knows so much more about me than probably some friends I have in my life. Anyway, I really want my pomegranate snack. So I'm gonna go to the Target and get myself some Dr. Pepper again so that I can have it because that's been my favorite combo so far. And I also just kind of want to go do something. So I'm gonna go to Target and you guys are gonna come along with me. Yeah, I'm gonna get seven up. So yeah, I found out that I do have Dr. Pepper, like a can left. But I was already dressed to go out, like I changed my outfit just to go out and I was just like already, my heart was already set on it. So I decided to come here anyway. I have this Prada bag. It's fake. It's not real. It's not real. But it's just like walking around. I feel so like bougie. Yeah, it's Prada. It's not. They don't know that. Yeah, it's Prada. What about it? No, you're actually joking. You're actually, you're actually kidding my, you're, you're, I don't, what am I supposed to do in this situation? Literally, what do I do? Literally, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh my God, what do I do? Okay, like, I was, I'm so upset now. Literally, no. Literally, bye. Literally, what is my life right now? Why did this happen to me? I thought I was literally who said that this was in my cards today. Why? Why? Why though? Am I gonna eat it from this? Probably. I probably will. I probably will still eat this. Please don't go through my sheets. I'm gonna start crying. What is this blanket made out of? Well, oh, it started to leak. Oh my god. Oh my god. I. Ah! Okay. I Should have gotten Dr. Pepper at the store. Why did I get Seven Up? Why? I need a moment. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I enjoyed filming this way too much. This was the first week of my classes, and life has been very different for me recently. This was something that was really giving me therapy for the week, and I just really appreciate you guys watching my videos. I'm gonna be posting, hopefully, a lot more. I need to really get my stuff together. I love doing this, and I don't know why I ever stopped. I kind of just found a lot of anxiety and stress with it, and I feel like I just have a really hard time doing the things that I really wanna do in my life because I get so tired and my energy's really off, but I am working on that this here and really focusing on putting forth effort into my goals that I want to do. So I hope that this is something that I can continue. Another thing is I know this was one of my longer vlogs that I've had in a long, 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 long while. I think I'm going to start doing long vlogs like this. I just think they're more intimate. I like showing what I'm doing in my day just because I love watching videos like this. I love just putting these types of videos on while I'm doing something else like coloring or like cleaning my room or organizing things because it helps me stay motivated and it just makes me feel like I'm talking to somebody. So I hope that you guys like videos like that and if not i will be putting more short videos on and just kind of vlogs here and there yeah thank you guys so much for watching bye